be sure to check out my second channel called Rob Explains. There you can check out videos where I explain things outside of comic books. What's going on guys, this is Rob, and welcome to another episode of The Rundown, where I just present you guys with a story, and I'm like, here is a thing that was cool, and I really enjoyed it, and you guys should check it out too. And in this video, after doing a poll on Twitter, which you guys can find me there, at Comics Explain, uh, I, I asked people, what video should we do? Should we do like Thor versus Galactus, or should we do uh, the story about how the Joker wanted to copyright fish? I think the Joker copywriting fish is a better story, but the people had spoken, and they were like, we want to see Thor versus Galactus. So, this is Thor versus Galactus. Now, this story has its roots at the beginning of Jason Aaron's run, and this is important because for like 20 years, Thor was like the most irrelevant character ever. He didn't really matter. He had his hammer, and it was cool, but his stories were just kind of dumb because it was like the Superman effect. Like, how can you write a good story with a character that's basically undefeatable? And so, what ended up happening is in 2011, Marvel launched Marvel Now, which was in response to DC's reboot of the New 52, and Marvel was like, holy cow, DC's crushing us in sales. We need to do what we did with Secret War and lie to everybody and issue new number ones, calling it a reboot. And so they gave us new number ones and Jason Aaron and Asad Ribic took over the, uh, the Thor series. So what they did is Jason Aaron launched a story called The God Butcher, and The God Butcher was based on a character named Gore. Now, why it is that Jason Aaron thought that Thor and Gore needed to have such similar names, that is a question I do not have the answer to. But the fact remains that Gore was basically like every angsty teenage boy ever. He was like, oh man, things aren't going my way, so I'm just going to throw a big temper tantrum and complain about it on the internet. The difference is that instead of complaining on the internet, uh, Gore wreaked havoc across the universe and killed all the gods. And he did this by basically capturing a weapon that was called the Necro Sword. And the Necro Sword had these magical properties, we call that a plot device in the realm of comics, and he used it to kill gods who normally would have been unkillable. And so this story took place over the course of three separate time periods. It took place during the first time that Thor encountered Gore way back in the day in like 800 BC, and then it took place in the present, and then it took place in the future. And the future is what we care about. Now, with regards to these three different timelines, at the end of the story, they all met up together and they were all like, okay, uh, this guy Gore is being kind of a dick and he's killing gods. Uh, we should kill him and then not have to worry about him later, uh, mostly because he wants to kill us. And so what happened is all three Thors teamed up and they killed Gore. And then one of the Thors took the Necro Sword and they threw it into a black hole. And so that was the end of him. That was the end of Gore. A story over, done and done. Now, within the pages of Jason Aaron's run on Thor, you had like Roxxon Oil, which was like this really mean company that did mean stuff and like polluted the atmosphere and Captain Planet would have hated him. And so what happened is while all that was going on in the backup pages of each story, you had Thor fighting Galactus. Now, what happens as a lead up to this is that in Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue number 12, uh, Loki and Thor are old. They're basically old people. And Thor gets promoted to being the head of Asgard. And Loki's like, well, you know what? If you get to rule Asgard, then I get to rule my own kingdom. And so he takes over Earth. And so Thor's like, dude, what are you doing, man? You cannot take over Earth. And he's like, yes, I can. Not only can I take over Earth, I can use my magic to kill everybody. And so that's what he does. He wipes everybody out. Now, this is where the story begins to shift because everything in Jason Aaron's run of the main Marvel Universe took place in our normal timeline. Loki killing everybody created a new alternate reality, and that's where this battle between Thor and Galactus takes place. Thousands of years after Loki killed everyone, and after the God Butcher had killed all the Asgardians, except, or I guess all the Asgardians and all the gods, except for Thor, Thor's like the last dude left. And so he's like hanging out on Earth, and he's got granddaughters. Don't ask me why they're there or how they're there. They're just there, whatever. Uh, he's got granddaughters, and they're just like, hey, look, Pops, you gotta stop hanging out, you know, at this, 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 earth this place is dead you know it's it's not cool anymore you know you gotta you know this this earth is so ratchet you gotta stop hanging out here i think ratchet is a phrase to use i don't know i'm not caught up on modern slang but they're like this earth is so ratchet you gotta stop hanging out here and so so thor's like yeah i guess i mean you know everything's pretty much dead there's no reason for me to stay here anymore and then galactus shows up and galactus is like let's do this shit i'm hungry let's eat planet earth so thor is like all right granddaughters you gotta get out of here like go shopping here is my credit card do whatever you want to do so he says them out of there and they're off doing their shopping thing jc penny i guess it's where girls shop these days i have no idea i don't know where girls go to shop and all i remember is that they used to go to jc penny and McAlpins in the 1990s so uh they are out shopping doing their thing and thor is like okay galactus let's 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 not consume the earth this is not okay you should not do this because the earth is important to me and it is my home and galactus is like sorry about your luck he's like people on earth have been defying me forever the first time i came here uh the silver surfer turned against me and the fantastic four defeated me 
me, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever because he is Galactus and he could have just phased the Earth out of existence or phased the Fantastic Four and the Silver Surfer out of existence, whatever. 1960s Jack Kirby Stanley comic book logic. Don't ask questions. Hashtag comic logic. So anyway, so he's like, the second time I came here, uh, I don't remember what happened then, but he's like, this is the third time I'm going to try to consume Earth and, and th it's happening this time because no one's going to stand in my way. And Thor's like, well, I'm going to stand in your way. Yes, I'm missing an arm. Yes, I'm blind in one eye, but I have, uh, I have, have courage. I have the strength of will to, to beat you. And so he's like, I'm going to, to hope that I can do it. And if there's hope, then maybe he won't get his, get his ass kicked, which he does actually. But what ends up happening is he calls down Mjolnir and he calls down, uh, his arm, which is part of the destroyer armor, which doesn't matter. And he has the Thor force. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, in Marvel comics, we have what's called the Odin force, AKA a plot device. The Odin force basically allows Odin to do whatever he needs to do at any one particular time to solve any one particular problem, unless it comes to fighting the celestials, in which case he gets totally obliterated and the celestials are basically like, get out of my face. And like they crush Odin. But what ends up happening here is Thor has the Thor force, which is basically he inherited the Odin force and now it's called the Thor force, whatever. And he uses it against Galactus. The problem here is that because Galactus is like the devourer of worlds and he's got the power cosmic, which is another plot device that lets Galactus do whatever he needs to do at any particular point in time, uh, Thor's Thor force does not work. Now the entire time he's like, dude, Galactus, you can't just run around and consume people's planets, man. That, that's not okay. All right. Like we are bros and bros do not, uh, consume other people's planets. And Galactus is like, yeah, but dude, like this planet has a coming, man. Like you guys have been really arrogant and no one cares if you're dead. In fact, they'd be happy with you dead and, and you know, no one cares. So I'm going to consume the planet. Plus like the universe is dying and there's less life and I'm hungry because there's less planets to eat now. And, and I'm, 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 I'm going to consume the earth and that's just all there is to it. And so Thor's like, okay, fine, whatever. So like they're, they're fighting each other. They're going back and forth and like Thor's holding his own. Like he's, he's holding his own against Galactus. Uh, that should not be possible, but he is able to do it and he's holding his own and he's doing well. And then Galactus is like, nope. And he punches Thor and punches Thor through the planet and destroys the moon. So then Thor's like, okay, like this is, this is some crazy shit. The guy punched me through a planet. This is big level stuff. Uh, I, I need to keep fighting, but I also need to come up with an idea. So he is, he's fighting Galactus some more and Galactus is like, dude, if you do not get out of here, I swear to God, I'm, I'm just going to destroy you. So he like punches Thor again and Thor flies off a planet and he's like thousands of light years away. Uh, and so then like his daughters come back. They're like, oh, hey guys, we're done shopping. Oh my God, that's right, Galactus. And so like they start fighting against Galactus and one of the daughters has like Stormbreaker, which is the hammer of Beta Ray Bill. And then another one has Yarnbjorn. And then another one has some mace that belongs to some guy who's like the third cousin, fourth time removed from Thor, whatever. And so like they're all fighting against Galactus and Galactus is like, dude, are you guys serious? Like, are you for real right now? Because this, this is nonsense. Like you guys are like, this is just annoying as shit. Just let me consume the earth and be on my way. That's all I want to do. And so they're just like biding their time. So Thor is like, okay, look, like I'm just floating out here in space right now. Galactus punched me to the far side of the universe. Uh, I need to, uh, I, I really need an idea. And so he ends up going back to the black hole where he previously threw the necro sword, which had killed gods. And he grabs the necro sword and he pulls it out like King Arthur pulling the sword out of the stone. Then he was like, all right, cool, let's do this. So we go back to the daughters and the daughters are like fighting Galactus and they're still trying to hold our, hold their own. Like Galactus killed the goats. So they know that Galactus is at this point, he's just being a dick. He's just like, I'm just going to kill the goats just, just to be, just to be a jerk to you guys. So like he kills the goats and the girls are like, oh my God, he killed the goats. Oh my God, this is crazy. He killed the goats. And so like, then like Thor shows back up and they're like, oh my God, Thor, is that like the necro sword you have in your hand? Oh my God, it corrupts the wills of the people that have it and it's going to corrupt you. And he was like, oh, I don't give a shit. We got to save Earth. So he is, he, he goes to Galactus and like, like punches Galactus, you know, hits Galactus with the sword and Galactus's armor is just like shattered and all the pieces and stuff like that. And Galactus is like, look, dude, I know you just wrecked me with a sword that I recognize as being something really old and it's capable of killing gods, but I am never going to give in. And Thor's like, I don't give a damn. And so like he stabs Galactus anyway. And so Galactus is like, basically like, it seems like he's dead. And so Thor is like bleeding all over the place. Well, it turns out that apparently something that we never knew, which is really, really interesting. This, uh, this is, this is wild. I guess it's a new concept. Uh, whenever Asgardians bleed, it, it makes the earth come back to life. And so like Captain, Captain Planet is being reborn, you know, and he was like with your blood on my surface, I am Captain Planet. And so he comes back, uh, not really, but the earth is being reborn again and stuff is like grass and stuff is growing. And so then we find out in the epilogue that Thor was like, okay, look, Galactus, man, I recognize that you're hungry. You know, I, I get that you're starving. Like I'm not that big of a dick. 
Here is the sword, uh, hold on to it for safekeeping so nobody else can use it and go consume Mars. And so Galactus is like, yeah, I'm consuming Mars, man. He's like, what is this? This sword is inside of me. And then he becomes like the butcher of worlds and we never find out what happens after that. Don't ask me why, probably because of Secret Wars, uh, which is kind of a dumb reason because it's not like Marvel rebooted. So uh, the story should just keep going. Jason Aaron, if you ever watch this video, please make that happen. Uh, anyway, yeah. So with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, post some likes, like give me some likes, give me some comments. Uh, make sure you guys hit subscribe, join the Rob Corps if this is your first time here. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all later. Peace.